Come on, Bioweapon, hurry up and mutate. Come on, hurry up and mutate. So this is Bio Prototype, and it's an action roguelike where the in-game um, character, your blob thing, prototype, um, actually attacks for you, and you just mostly have to dodge around, avoid the enemies. There's tons of them, dozens of them. And apparently there's like 24 characters with more than 80 kind of organs. I didn't get anywhere close that far. I kind of accidentally died by being reckless in wave 6, but sort of it started to get too repetitive for my taste and I lost everything. Um, it's interesting to see the different kinds of attacks beyond the, the orb shots fired from your prototype bioweapon. Um, and then you're supposed to set up chain, <laughs> chaining triggers and effects to have a weird and unique prototype build. Um, and after each round of achievements, you can unlock more classes of, of uh, characters and can try different play styles as well. Uh, the biggest reward is achieving a good build on a particular run and seeing your enemies get destroyed quickly with said good build. Uh, there are five difficulty levels and high replay value if you enjoy roguelikes. Um, the biggest con with the game clearly is it's designed for people who love to tinker and uh, experiment with their games. There's no real instructions on how to play this game, so you're sort of left on your own. Uh, your character is limited by their brain size and the order that you place the different uh, mutations that you can achieve and the organs on your bio prototype. And there's no key, there's no numbering system or reasoning to your prototype that you design. And since the game is a roguelike, if you make a mistake, it's completely back to the drawing board. <clears throat> and you have to reimagine your build from the beginning, which can be frustrating uh, when you have no idea where to place organs and why. The game is $4.99 regular price. Maybe the customization different systems will one day be explained uh, in a patch, but a casual gamer jumping into the game uh, you know, there's endless build combinations, might be too much without any proper documentation to it uh, or instruction. So I would say it's a solid 6 out of 10 for most if you like to fail and fail again. I like it 8 out of 10 if you love roguelikes that lets you find your own path without explaining everything. So, so make prototypes as if it's going to succeed. Keep on gaming.